of Fame weekend from Pittsburgh, Kansas, as the legends that used to wear the crimson and gold are gathered inside the confines of Carney Smith Stadium, as they are the onlookers today to watch their Pittsburgh State University Gorillas headed on a collision course against the Washburn Ichabod. <laughs> We take you to beautiful Kearney Smith Stadium as the seven new inductees into the Pittsburgh State Athletics Hall of Fame were honored and got to watch their beloved Gorillas take on the Washburn Ichabods. The Gorillas arrive with a 2-2 two two record and look to have a palate cleanser after their bitter loss to Lindenwood last week. The 3-1 Ichabods attempt to lengthen their two-game win streak to three. The Gorillas won the toss and elected to defer, and Washburn set the tone early with a 26-yard touchdown run by McKeel Stewart to button down an 83-yard drive. Fast forward to the second quarter, same score as junior quarterback John Roderick takes the defense head-on by powering himself through the middle of the field, allowing him to go airborne as he front flips into the end zone from the one-yard line to draw back level with the Ichabods. If it ain't broke, don't fix it as Roderick takes it again, breaking two tackles on his way through the middle of the field until safety DJ Almson makes the touchdown saving tackle at the 14 yard line. The Grills then faced a third and goal as Roderick throws across the middle to Javon Wilson, but a crunching hit by Corey Ballantyne would break it up. A failed third down led to a 27 yard Jared Vincent field goal as the Grills go up by three at the half. Both teams first drive stall and the Ichabod's punt is blocked by Josh Hornback. It is second of the year as the ball launches into the sky, ultimately to fall into the arms of Joante Baldwin as he returns at 48 yards for the Gorillas third blocked punt touchdown in five games. With seven minutes left in the third quarter, the pressure was on the Ichabod's to answer to stay within the game and boy did they as Zach Willis is unleashed down the sideline on a 50 yard trek into the end zone. Washburn would surprise the Grills with it onside kick that they converted and that wasn't the only trick they have up their sleeves as the bods call up a flea flicker Blake Peterson rockets his throw to Kerry Woods for another big play they scored two 50-yard touchdown plays on subsequent drives Grills would look to get the ball back following a 23-yard field goal go within one however Washburn had other ideas as Zach Willis carries 40 yards virtually untouched to give Washburn an eight-point lead with 12 minutes left Washburn would also score the next touchdown to go ahead 15 Pitt State would make a last chance effort to cut the lead in half with seven minutes minutes remaining, but Roderick would lose a goal line fumble trying to stretch it across the plane, proving to be the nail in the coffin for the Gorillas. And with that, Washburn would hold on to their road victory. The Gorillas will travel to Hayes, Kansas next Saturday, October 7th, as they will look to play spoilers against the number 11th ranked Fort Hayes State Tigers.